Hi friends and welcome back to Storytime. I'm Miss Jamie and today we're going to read a story about a very special family. Our story today is The Worm Family Has Its Picture Taken and this story is about a little girl who starts to think that maybe her family isn't very special or bright or pretty or shiny enough as she meets some other families. But at the end, she realizes that her family is very special in its own way. And as we're reading our story, we're gonna meet some friends. So I put some friends up here, a beautiful butterfly and a fluffy little cat. And as we're reading our story, I want you to look for them and see if you can find a butterfly or a cat in our story, okay? All right, so we're going to read, The Worm Family Has Its Picture Taken. And this is written by Jennifer Frank and David Ezra Stein. Mrs. Worm lay at the top of a giant dirt pile watching her children play. They were wiggling their bodies into all kinds of delightful shapes. She hoped she'd always remember how squirmy, slimy, and cute they were at this age, but she did not have a very good memory because her brain was so tiny. I know, she declared, I'll have our picture taken. What a great idea. Have you ever had your family's picture taken? The very next day, Mrs. Worm called Mr. Muskrat, the photographer, to arrange a time. Then she told her family. That is so cool, the oldest Emma exclaimed. She loved the idea of being able to see herself hanging on the wall every day. Emma could hardly wait to tell her friend Ellie. How splendiferous, squealed Ellie. There's Ellie. She's a beaver. We had our picture taken last year and it was amazing. We had the most beautiful smiles. Cool, said Emma. But then she thought about how worms don't have teeth. How would they have beautiful smiles in their picture? Oh well, she decided, we will still have a nice way to remember our family. On her way home, Emma bumped into her friend, Abigail, and told her about the family portrait. It's a kitty. We found one of our friends. Too fabulous, meowed, meowed Abigail. I just love having my picture taken. My human always takes me to the beauty salon first so that my big poofy hair will look especially gorgeous. Cool, said Emma. But then she thought about how worms don't have hair. How could they look poofy and gorgeous in their picture? Oh well, she decided, we will still have a nice way to remember our family. She's looking a little sad. As she continued on her way, Emma was feeling a bit less excited. At the Forsythia bush, she saw her friend Olivia sitting on a branch. Emma told her about the portrait. Ooh, wow, wee, squeaked Olivia and flitted high above Emma's head. My family took one of those just last week and all our colors made it look like a rainbow. It's another one of our friends, the butterfly. Hmm. Cool, said Emma sadly as Olivia fluttered away on the breeze. She was already thinking about how worms are just one color. Her family was beautiful. She knew they were, but there would be no bright colors in their picture. Oh well, she decided. We will still have a nice way to remember our family. But the rest of the trip home, Emma couldn't help feeling much less excited. Oh, poor sad Emma. As Emma fell asleep that night, she thought about what her friends had said. How was her family going to make their portrait special? When she woke up, she had an idea. The day of the photo shoot arrived and Emma had a surprise for everyone. Oh boy. 
Look at all those dress up clothes. Pretty, her little sister squealed excitedly. Mr. and Mrs. Worm were less sure. Their new look was not comfortable. Even though the Worm family arrived at the studio on time, Mr. Muskrat would not take their picture. I am sorry, he said. I have an appointment with a family of worms. You'll have to come back another day. But we are the family of worms, said Mrs. Worm. The photographer laughed. <laughs> For one thing, worms do not have teeth, he said. Mrs. Worm quickly instructed her family to spit out their fake teeth. And they do not have hair, said Mr. Muskrat. The family took off their wigs. And they most definitely are not colorful. The family undressed. Ah, they all said. Now they're back to their normal selves. Oh, said Mr. Muskrat, looking very surprised. I am terribly sorry I didn't recognize you. Then together the worm family wiggled and squiggled and squeezed into a delightful pose only a worm family could. What does that say? C-H-E-E-S-E. -E -E. Cheese! Mr. Muskrat snapped the picture. The first of their many annual portraits was taken. The next morning, Emma sat with her family, admiring the portrait now hanging in their worm hideaway. It's perfectly perfect, she whispered, and she would have reached out and given them a great big hug if she'd had arms. <laughs> There's their family portrait like nobody else could do. The end. Wasn't that a great story? See, even though her family wasn't bright or they didn't have hair, they didn't have shiny teeth to show, they were special in their own way. Okay, we're gonna do a little song now. It's called Wiggle Worm. Get your worms ready. I'm a little wiggle worm, watch me go. I can wiggle fast or very, very slow. I wiggle all around, then back I go. Down into the ground, to the home I know. Good job. Thank you for coming to Storytime, everybody. I hope you had so much fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.